Well, mate, it's gone. The Big changes gone. here in the Bearham headquarters, and it sad times. So, I'll take these off because I can't see you at all from here. <laughs> but I can see that very clearly. Eyes have got terrible lately. Mm. Do you reckon it's an age thing? I'm a little bit worried about mm. it, to be fair. They've gone very sharpish. If I, Should literally, right, if I'm mate. reading something like that, I've got to proper struggle for about 10 seconds or move it to about here. I won't worry too much. I've got glasses as well, mate. Oh, well. Just don't really wear them. That's probably why people have glasses, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah. So, mate, the orange van. Couldn't do a video after or the weekend or after that because I was too sad. <laughs> Really. Very upset. Yeah. So the van's gone. Was picked up by a dealer, actually, down in Bournemouth. Oh, right. Merlin Performance. They you do... Have a little look. They do some lovely lot vehicles. A lot of M cars and stuff like do, that. Do a lot of M cars, yeah, all flashy stuff and that. Yeah. Um, don't think they're particularly into the vans, but they... Um, well, it's an MSRT, in it? MSRT, more, isn't it? A bit flash, so... Yeah. But we've had it for three and a half years, mate. A lot of people said in the comments on the last video that they think it was a wise move. Yeah, well, for the deal that you got, yeah. I think it was, really, because nobody else was offering or you could, didn't seem to be getting offers for that sort of money. So Not really, no. So that made sense. So we sort of really achieved what I set out to achieve when I first bought it brand new. Yeah. So they're, you know, these MSRTs now, they're quite expensive, aren't they? Like everything. Don't get, you don't get a car for much under 50 grand these days, do you, no? <laughs> Not really, no. And I think the new MSRTs are stupid money. And I don't think they look as good. I don't. Don't, they don't like the new one. They don't look as nice one. as the, the first Two one. Two OTT. Yeah, and a bit like they they don't look as wide and bit eighteen down, vanny, yeah, I think, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little crap. bit. They're all right, but yeah. not as nice. So probably if we get to the point in the future where we need a van, I shall probably have a look at just a normal custom or something like yeah. that, or just a normal van, really. Yeah. Not too bothered. My only run around at the minute is the Subaru. And do you know what, mate? I've said it before and I'll say it again. What a car that is. Good car, Can't mate. Can't thank you enough for recommending it. It's all good. Bloody good car. Won't have anything bad to say about them anymore. Used to. Yeah. But, but I think um, they've, they, they, like you always say, they had a bit of a bad rep yeah. maybe 10 years ago. Do you know what? It's, it's funny because when that, I think you were a bit more attached to that van than I was. I just liked it. It, it was, was a, a cool van. van. Don't get we, me wrong. We had some good like road trips and that. We did going a lot of to, memories, mate. Going a lot up of to memories. Track days and with, when Paul was here and everything, and it was all going up. And when you first got it, it was like, whoa, was, you know. I didn't realise how handy it was actually until I had to clear it out on <laughs> Friday morning. Yeah, found all your beach <laughs> it's gear. It's like a Tardis. And, yeah, beach gear, oh. coats, and loaded the boot of the Subaru up. It went off down the road, and do you know what? All I felt was relief. Well, with the deal you got, I think that's yeah. Yeah. That's going to happen. They also took the M3 that was out there for sale of me uh, cousins there. So, yep. That's all good, well. mate. So that means, like I say, got the Subaru. What a car that is. Doesn't yeah. owe me the massive money. Not really. It's not that tidy that you have to worry about it. No. No it, point getting a tidy one because you can't drash them about then. No. It does you everything you need it to do. It's got four doors, big boot, get the kids in. Comfort you can drash seats. down the lanes. You can do a track day. You can drive up the motorway. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Relatively good on fuel. Sounds good, looks trick. Yeah. Makes you feel 18. What else do you need from a car, innit? I won't go too much into the projects, mate, but we've got two bits of good news, which some people I would have thought are going to be pleased to hear. <laughs> some people won't believe one of them, if it's what I think no. it is. No, <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, firstly, the yellow escort. Bits are going to be sent out in two days. So that's the throttle body throttle kit. Throttle bodies, Emerald ECU. Yeah. And all the relevant bits for converting it to cool. fuel injection. So we'll get on with that. In a get minute. on with that. Spoke to Ryan at the weekend, and Ryan has promised me that he's going to book March to get the BMW finished. So that's the elusive BMW E30 M3 recreation. Yes, it is Been indeed. On, on the go for about as long as you've had the van. Which sometimes I wake up in the morning and just imagine and, and have to double think: Is it actually just a dream? Mm. Well, it's not a dream because I can see the rear trailing arms or the rear low control arms right above your head. I can see a lot of bits right above our heads, which is one of the reasons me and Ryan had a chat actually at the weekend. I said, listen, two things. One, 
I do understand how busy it is, and it's it's hard. It's a to big job as well. It's a big job, and it's every time you look at it, it produces new things to be done. Um, it's hard to make a sort of dead set plan. It's a bit of a bespoke. Well, it is a very much bespoke yeah. sort of build. Um, so I do understand. Obviously, he has to make a living, and you know, time is money, and all this. But one, I do want to get that car done this year. And it would just drag me down if we don't. I think it's a good idea to get it done, yeah. so it's done, and you don't, you, you know where you are with it. You ain't got to spend any more money or you exactly. Know, and just two, get it finished. We've got so many bits all over the place, mate. I would just all up there. My heart sinks every time I look up at it now, because I used to get um, used to get a bit of adrenaline when I looked at it, but now you just think oh, I need a car to bolt it to. Yeah. So, so you basically asked him. Do you still want to do it? If so, can you do it? I would like him to, to do it more than anyone yeah. because of how good he is. He is very good. Um, if I had to take it away, yeah, it'd be a pain and I would, you know. Well, but, and then you start, you, you're sort of resetting then, aren't you? If you take it away, yeah, then they'll say, oh, well, I want to redo this bit and that bit and change this. Well, he and, knows what needs to be done for yeah. now and, you know, he's, it will be right. I know that. So, mm -hmm. so he's going to do it, mate. Book March. So, so albeit all gone well. April. Hopefully we'll be seeing it in colour. Mid, mid to late. <laughs> That's a... And the colour still subject. stands. Have we told them? I don't know. It's been a few colours, I think. To cut a long story short, we were going to do it orange. We ain't going to do it orange anymore. Two reasons. One, because really there's only one... There's only one livery you one can livery do you can orange. Do, and that will be a Jägermeister so, in our sort of incorporating our... Yeah, which would be really cool. Either that or nothing. And yeah. then what you're left with is an orange BMW. Which, yeah. And then the second reason is because of that, the resale, if we ever did have to sell it, yeah. or ever did want to sell it, we could, we, we've got to be looking at clientele who want an orange car. Makes it a bit more difficult. Or, or clientele who don't mind having to pay another five or six, seven grand for yeah. another respray. This is the which thing. Which isn't going to be a simple job on that car because it's, it's so not. bespoke. But. Exactly. So we've gone with white. Yeah. White is what it's staying. Yep. And I that did. allows us to do all sorts of liveries. We could even wrap it if we want to. You know, you can it's wrap just it. a base, isn't it? Even if you wrapped it, the inside's white, it's going to be a yeah. blank canvas. We can do whatever livery. Um, and I think once we get our livery on there with the black and orange, and stuff, it's going to look really smart, isn't it? Yeah. So we're sticking with the, white at the, the moment. Is it the Warsteiner? You can do the sort of Warsteiner. That's, I like, I yeah, like that You can do that, but we'll incorporate our own colours, yeah, the orange, the colors, grey and black. Yeah. Get our own sign on there. Look yeah, proper trick, that it? would look cool. So middle to end of uh, spring, mate. Look out, could have the BMW. Whenever we come in on a Monday morning and this phone starts ringing, I mean, obviously we appreciate every phone call, but some of them can be a bit... Some of them are... But today, well, every phone call we've had has been um, either a potential... Been getting something in the pipeline, something yeah. decent, something so they understand what's going to be involved. Exactly. That's the problem with a lot of the calls we get, isn't it? It's sort of, they think... Yeah. You don't really understand the costs or... This yeah. is the trouble in it, mate. So we had one phone call this morning with a, uh, a Ranger, the 3.2 Ranger, five cylinder, yeah. diesel Ranger. Got the usual knocking, could be suspected piston, but it is knocking, so we do suspect the crank as well. It sounded very promising. He's turned up, mate, about an hour or so ago, and brought the engine in. So there it is. They've took their head off, and I said we want it as a tall, bare motor, obviously. So, this uh, is so the... they've just plonked the head back on it. Yeah, so this is the five-cylinder one. This is the five-cylinder one, mate, looking very grubby. So we are yeah. suspecting at this point from the symptoms and from what they've seen, um, I'm suspecting a crank. What are you going with? Probably, yeah, uh, crank or it's maybe a cracked piston or... Well, I suppose if they've had the head off, they would have seen that. But yeah. Could be, like you said earlier, it could even be something like a small end if there's been could excessive be. load or diesel in the oil. It yeah. It does happen sometimes. So that's that one. And then we got uh, another phone call, a chap with an MX-5, the second MX-5, the first of his builds, I do believe an 1800 turbo, running cool. 300 horsepower. Very nice. Now he's gonna build a 2.5 Duratec supercharged so is that in an a, MX-5. Is that a little bit like the EcoBoost? The 2.3s, same sort of Simi thing. Very similar yeah. sort of thing, yeah. And he's gonna be bringing that in. Nice. So we've got that build, mate. So that's two today. It's been a really good couple of weeks since Christmas. It just seems to be flowing, doesn't it? 
We yeah. seem to be churning them out and getting yeah. them done. We've worked quite hard in the last couple of weeks, but this is um, exactly what I've dreamed of when we come back from Christmas, seeing as we had a bit of a quiet spell beforehand. Yeah, we just got a bit panicky, didn't we? But yeah, we sort of got now. a few finished. Got the Peugeot down there, which we've got to bag up, and um, customers come in and pick that up. Yep. You finish that one very kindly. Yeah. This one's going to be done in a week or two. This cosy over here. So this is the big power jobby going two wheel drive and going in a 350Z. Oh yeah. So drifty. Yeah. So it's quite cool that going to be running big power. That bottom end's almost done. This one's all done. He's going to be collecting. We have managed to strip the Pinto. Had a very, uh, very good helper in today doing we, that. We did indeed. That is Stuart's, Stuart's daughter, Kirsten, at yeah. 17 years old, 16, 16 17. Yeah, something like that. But obviously, Stuart's taught her well. Yeah. She can come in. She knows how to use a tool. She can strip a motor, mate. Yeah. She's pretty cool. She's done well. She? Yeah. And that has enabled you to get involved with the five-cylinder Volvo, Volvo stroke Ford RSST. Ford RST, whatever it ST. Is. <laughs> I keep wanting to say the dreaded. You wouldn't say that, would you? Well, they are dreaded in a way. Yeah. Because they do go very, very badly wrong. But <laughs> don't they? But I like them. Yeah. I also like Subaru. We love so them. That tells yeah. you a lot. <laughs> yeah. I like crap engines, but <laughs> whatever. Say that, mate. Subaru, bloody good engine. Not now. crap. Bloody but, good engine. Now uh, I've got one. Flawed, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's flawed, all right. All the time. All round the town, most yeah. of the time. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've stripped the, well, you have stripped this motor, mate. What have we found? Anything, um, any horrors? Not a lot, really. What do the bores um, look like? Bores look maybe like there's been even like water sat in them in, in one or two of them. They usually look like that. Yeah, um, they don't look amazing. They're no. weirdly dry when I um, oh, stripped really? it. Like, you know, pushing the pistons out felt like there was no oil at all, no oil film, but. Oh, I don't they, know. They don't look pretty. Oh, they you've got that, you've got that wear that I do see in these a lot down yeah. there. It looks like a bit of a... No, they, like they sort gone. of just look a bit... They're not awful, but they're definitely tired and they're not what I'd call perfect. I would imagine... I mean, this hasn't fortunately had the block mod mm. where they drive a wedge of metal inside the um, gap there in between the bores and that yeah. ovals the bores nicely yeah but i almost guarantee that when we measure these they're going to be all over the shop not round well that's partially due to the old open deck design got isn't the it? open deck there mate so i guarantee this is going to be sunk down yeah um, usually what happens with this open deck center set of bores here they all sink in nicely yeah and uh, the whole thing sort of does this but i did notice it looks like it's been opened up before and someone's had a go at it. Of course. So I found a nice amount of uh, sort of grey silicon in the oh, pickup. Standard. Um, the standard ST in build. In the bottom, there was some reused siliconed in O rings. Nice. For the oil pump and pickup. Well, why wouldn't you? Well, you know. Not that it's a, not important very important. Part. So. No. And I mean. And it looks like I the be majority if of. It's just had a head gasket slapped on with all the sort of crustiness but and it I looks like the exterior of the block could do with an oil change yeah i think because <laughs> and it also looks painted yeah and i've noticed uh, in oil one or, yeah and grit yeah nice. but there's one or two other bits that have been you know reconned in a can mm. it don't look terrible. it's going to look totally different when we finished it yeah. mate so we're going for forge pistons oversize rebore face the block blast the usual treatment and that's going to look minty yeah when it's done Go through the head, which was a new head. Yeah. But it had broke a belt, this one, isn't it? Yeah, there's a few little indents in the top of the pistons. So we are suspecting almost certainly bent valves. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Yeah, so, no, it's a nice steady flow of work at the minute. Very happy, mate. Yeah. Getting a bit of money in. As I say, the Escort's going to be done in two or three weeks. May have a new addition to the, to the fleet, but maybe not. We'll see. We'll see about that. I think we'll just end it there, mate, innit? Yeah. Done I enough for one so. day. Boredom enough for one day. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. We're going home. See you in the next one. Cheers.